Good morning, FlossTube. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to Stitching by the Shore, my channel all about cross-stitch. Every once in a while, we talk about something else crafty, but it's been a moment since I've talked about anything else crafty, and this week is no different. Today is all cross-stitch. This, this is the third time I'm doing this. I'm having lighting issues. I filmed about 10 minutes with the light on here in the kitchen, and then the light was switching and I was kind of like, oh, that doesn't look good. So I shut the light off and I did a second video about 10 more minutes, but then it was getting really dark and I thought, oh, that, I think the light was better than the dark. So I stopped that, put the light back on. So you're going to see a little bit light on me, but I think for showing the items here that this is the best way to go. I have not invested in a ring light. For those of you who have floss tubes and you have, can you... Can you give me your thoughts and ideas? Is it something that I should? Is it just an Amazon thing? Give me some info if you've got it. I would love to, to know because um, even though I have you know a lot of open windows here, it depends on if it's a sunny day or if it's kind of like a cloudy sort of day and every once in a while the sun shines and then you'll see right up here, it'll get really bright, but not so on me. So I'm working on it. I apologize if it looks a little bit different or weird mid video, but I think this is the way to go. Um, okay, that's it with the lighting. It is the way it is, right? Uh, tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm super excited about that. I will be turning 52. Uh, I decided to get a little bit fancier today with my top because of that, to kind of, you know, celebrate the party. Um, <laughs> I wanted to go fall colors. This one's a little bit summery because of the coral, but I'm saying it's close enough to the fall orange. And it is beautiful here, temperature-wise. We went for a walk at 7 a.m. this morning, and I'm wearing short sleeves because it was 65 degrees then. So right now in the house, it's feeling just fine. And see, the sun's coming out now. So again, we're getting funny shadows, but we're rolling with it. We are just going with it. Because otherwise, I will never have this videotaped, and there will be no video to watch. Um, so yeah, so that's that's my super exciting weekend plans. We'll talk about life later on if you're not interested in that um, and Let's welcome you though. Welcome to everybody. Welcome to all my new viewers. Thank you so much for pressing play I really appreciate it and you've taken the time to give my video a chance I know in the comments that I had several people say that this was their first visit so super excited and I hope you Keep coming back and we can get to know each other uh, even more. Um, and all of you, if you hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that's always cool too. Um, but do what makes you comfortable. And uh, returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. As always, I can't even really express my gratitude and support that all of you give me during this last month when I have been, you know, kind of not feeling great the support and reaching out has been amazing and has helped me so much and in the past couple years you have been a lifesaver for me i can't imagine if i hadn't started that first floss two back almost two years ago february of 20 when was it 2020 february of 2020 i i just my life has been so much richer for knowing all of you so thank you so much all right so stitching i have no finishes I have four works in progress that I brought out this week, and then I have a start and a finish, so it's sort of a finish, but it's not. It's a long-term project, and I have another start. So I have a bunch of things to show you. Now, this first one, while it's not a finish finish, the X's are done. Right now, it's just backstitch and beads. So you know which one I'm talking about. It's my Bells of Ireland from Nora Corbett. If you are new, I started this last September. The end of September is my anniversary. I started it last year because I had Bells of Ireland in my bouquet. Last name O'Shea, so not a surprise there, right? Um, <laughs> so I thought this was this was a perfect one to try my hand at. I've never done Miras or Nora Corbett's or any other fancy ladies, so I thought this one would be a great one. It meant something um, and has meaning, and it would be fun to try. And it didn't look too overwhelming. There's actually there's DMC and then backstitching and beads. There's no like other specialty threads, you know, crying neck or anything like that. So I thought, okay, this would be a good one to try. So that's what that will look like finished. It still needs backstitching, so it obviously looks unfinished yet, but the X's, the X's are done. That's what it looks like. 
All right, let me show you far back first. And then let's bring her up a little bit closer. This fabric is an 18 count beach glass from my vintage needle arts. It's really, really, um, I really am, I'm really pleased with it. It's a very subtle green, if you see, really, really subtle. In some cases, you might not necessarily even think, oh, is there even any color to it? But there is. And it, it, I thought it would show perfectly with the focus of greens here, plus all the other colors. And I am just thrilled to bits with it. In fact, thinking about something that I wanna do later on, this color might work for that too. As I'm just, my brain's just thinking right now. So again, back stitch needs to be done, beads then after that. So we'll see how I feel after I get the courage to try the beads. But so far, so good. I really enjoyed stitching this. Yesterday, I, this, is, this was done yesterday. We, um, we are coming up on the one year anniversary of the house being closed on after having been built. And so Shamrock and I kind of had to spend the day we have a tiny little porch over, small little screen porch there. And Shamrock and I spent the day there because we had, at the end of the year around there, they come in and they fix all the nail pops. So you're gonna see here, and it's tough to see with the lighting, but there's a whole bunch up there too. Um, the whole house, you know, there's nail pops everywhere. And obviously the wood, was it the wood shrinks? So there's, you know, there's some cracks that need caulking and all that and some of the different um, areas. So they spent a good portion of the day here yesterday doing all that. Shamrock would have gone nuts if he was in the house, so we sat outside. Plus, I really didn't want to get in the way and have to move from room to room wherever they were working. So I spent a little bit more time, quite a bit more time stitching than I normally would. I, am, I was really tired of sitting by the time they were gone. I was really excited for them to go because I wanted to get up and move around and just stop sitting. So I did get this done wouldn't have gotten done probably without that fact, but um, I have to say, I really, really want to not sit for that long again anytime soon. <laughs> anyway, there it is. And of course, whenever they come back and paint all this, I may be stuck outside again. Fingers crossed the weather will be nice. It was really nice yesterday. So it wasn't a hardship in, in that sense because it, uh, it wasn't too hot and it wasn't cold. Although I had a blanket and everything already just in case, but no, it was nice. All right, so that's the Nora Corbett. Let's move on. I have no idea what I've said now, this being the third, the third taping of this. So if I repeat myself without realizing, I don't really know what's being said anymore. <laughs> Betsy's Autumn from Plum Street. I'm so excited to hear some of you are interested in giving this one a go after seeing it. It is a lot of fun, except this house. This house is gonna, I'm not gonna let the house get the better of me, but boy, is it trying to. That's what it looks like whole. You can see I've folded it twice now. This used to be nice and <laughs> nice and iron, but twice I folded it to show you the closer up. So now we're doing it a third time. This house is what I focused on. So I got, I was way ahead of myself. I said, I'm gonna get that house done this week on my stitching day and then maybe I'll do the grass or maybe I'll do here. And I, I was thinking way ahead of my capabilities. Plus the house seemed smaller than I realized it was. So that didn't work. So the day that I gave to stitching on this, I worked on the house and then I was really surprised at how little I had gotten done or felt like how little. So two different mornings this week as well. I gave myself a half an hour each day, pulled out a few couple strands um, of this color and just kept plugging in some more X's. So we're getting there, we are getting there. There is a pumpkin that goes down here too. I have to figure that in. So I can't, I thought I would just be able to stitch mindlessly, but thank goodness I checked because <laughs> that's not the case. So we're getting there. I may, when I get that house done, I might have to put this one away for a little bit just because it's getting to me. Now, I can't remember if I've said this because again, I've said this a few times. This is 18 count Honey Amber from Fabrics by Stephanie. The reason I wanna mention that too is I had somebody reach out to me and say that they had um, gotten a 
piece of honey amber and it was more yellow in person for them than what shows up on the screen. If I'm looking at it here, now obviously my light is a little off today, but it is fairly on the mark even still. Maybe it's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit brighter, but that's pretty much in person what I'm seeing. What I forgot to ask the person that had said that was I didn't know if they got Ada, what count Ada they got, or if they had gotten linen or even weave, because I know everything dies a little bit differently. So it, it, let me know what you got, because um, I'm curious. And then I don't know from different dye lots if how much things change. I happened to get a fat quarter of this and I cut it in half. Betsy's Autumn is on one, Cinnamon Stars is on the other. So they will have the exact same coloring because it's the same piece of fabric that got dyed. But I apologize. I hope it's something you can still use because I, I guess sometimes you just never know. I love it on this, um, but just something to keep in mind because I don't know which ones dye darker and lighter. And it's amazing sometimes when the dyers will show you against something, how different something can look. But this is Honey Amber, if you are interested. And yeah, just, just plugging along. Maybe I'll do some more this week. Maybe I need a break from the house. I'm not really sure yet. You know it all comes kind of just scattered. We'll see what happens. Okay, next one. Next one is a digital. So let me pull up my iPad. And this one is Autumn Line Stitchery and it's called Autumn Town. So that's what it looks like. I love this one. I keep keep coming back to it most weeks just because I like the colors, I like the, the entire scene, and I really like their patterns. I own a few, not that many, but a few Autumn Lane um, patterns. I think this might be the first one though that I'm stitching. I'm blanking out and cannot remember there being another one, so. I have to say, I am enjoying it. For those of you who have not done, if you were looking at them, um, they're nicely charted, they're done well. Okay, so where am I? Right here. This is 18 count fallen leaf fabric from To Die For Fabrics. I'll look a little bit. The sun's kind of come out again, so we're just, we're working with it. And that's closer up. So you can see, I, I was really just trying to get this cloud done. It was a lot of white uh, with the birds. And then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of, of tree and some blue. So this goes maybe to about here. I don't remember exactly. So I'm slowly working my way across and then I can work my way down. And you'll see in between all here, this is all going to be open. So that's why they, they had recommended a green, but you could certainly Pick anything that would kind of work for you, uh, but you will have open patches in the pattern. So that is what it looks like right now. I am using all DMC at the moment. They have it charted in DMC plus silks plus some variegated flosses. There's a whole variety there, but they do give DMC alternatives for everything if you so choose. And that's, that's where I'm going. I know there's one tree um, pattern that's very, very variegated. I'm gonna try it in just the DMC. And if I like how it looks, I'm not gonna worry about it. Especially because they'll all be kind of that kind of deep solid color, so I think it'll be fine. So that's where that one is, Autumn Town. All right, the last of my current works in progress that I pulled out this week was Lady Halloween from Jardin Privé. That's what it looks like, the digital. I don't know if they have a hard copy of this. I got this as a digital from the website. And let me show you where I am. I might as well just fold it over to here because I'm still in the top corner. And that's what it looks like. This fabric is Smoky Amethyst from To Die For Fabrics. This is the entire piece, so you'll see and I am still on, well, here's just starting to go into page two, but for the most part, and this is the bottom of page one. So we're for the most part still working on page one. Now there is an option to do this completely monochromatic, 
or she has it charted in three different colors. I am going with the three different, although I did change one of them because with my fabric, it didn't look good. And if you look at the description box below, I tell you what I changed it to. I was looking at, our Wi-Fi was kind of funky with our laptop, so I was behind on comments and I went to my Gmail and um, somebody had sent me a picture. They had bought this pattern and, oh, I, the name has escaped me. Well, she dyed her fabric orange. It's gorgeous and it's gonna look so, so pretty. I cannot wait to see her stitch it. This can go, I think if you go on the website, this version might be shown on an orange. And then I have seen so many other options as well. We have a, we have a hashtag. It's hashtag Lady Halloween Sal, S-A-L. So Lady Halloween, S-A-L, one word. Um, and there are multiple people that have decided to stitch it as well. And I'm so excited. I am abysmal with Instagram, so I have not shown as much progress as some others have. So you guys are awesome. I, I'm just, I never think to, to do it, to be quite honest with you. Um, and then this week in the comments from last week's video, Stitching Scotty, you said you were gonna start it, right? So super excited. I will link her floss tube down below in the description, I talk about the people that I know, either Instagram or FlossTube, that have reached out to me to let me know that they are they are stitching it as well. And I will continue, if anybody else is joining in, I will continue to add that when I list the info on this. So I will add her FlossTube to the list. But that's what it looks like. So I, I really wanted to focus, I, I focused a lot on this and finished up here. And then, I don't know if you can see close up, there you go the flowers are all done. And then I came down here and I started to do a little bit of a letter. But this was really my focus. So that's where it is. Really enjoying this one, really like it a lot. My first Chardin Privé and I am very, very pleased and impressed with the pattern. So super excited to keep going with that. Even past, that may, that may stay for a while past Halloween because I really, I really like the elements of it and the looks of it. So that could very well be something that, I don't know if it'll continue every week until it's done. It might take a little bit of a break, but I am enjoying it and I'm enjoying kind of that look of it. So for now, I think it'll stay. Okay, so that's all of the projects that had been started that I kind of pulled out this week. So I have two more to show you. The first one, um, I decided to do a one of these. You know, with the Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist, I'm stitching each one of these each day separately. And I'm stitching on four different fabrics. So this is the fourth one I'm gonna show you. And I did day nine. Now the reason, I, I had picked three different colors, and I'll show you them, um, especially if you're new, you wouldn't have seen them. And then, I had said, well, this is going to be stitched on black. There's no way I'm going to stitch this and do all that black. I'll just stitch it on black. So then I decided I wanted to find some other pieces that would also look good on black. So I chose this one. And then this one might be on. There's, there's four of them. The skeleton might be, and then the ghost might be. I think those are the four that I chose. I don't remember now. I'll have to go back and see. So this is just plain black fabric. I don't know. I'm gonna put the pattern behind it just because I don't know if it's gonna, it's just regular 18 count black. So you could probably see, yeah, you probably see right through it otherwise. This is, this is a fairly stiff black. I ended up, I think I need like a, a, a what is it that you put on your fingers? Oh, I've just blanked out because I had to pull a lot harder with this and I've kind of stabbed my finger. Not stabbed, but I've, I've definitely pushed into it quite a bit. So it's a little bit kind of dry and almost sore now. But that's what number nine looks like. He's cute. So that will be mixing up among all the different, that's just a straight, you know, 18 count black. The others, and I don't have, I think in the description box, I, do I put all the colors? I don't remember. If I start to think about it, I will try to pull out all the different names so you'll know. 
That's the first batch. And that's the second batch. So you can see the different shade there. And then I wanted to go with a deeper gray. Those two have been done. So that was three, six, so nine would have been here except I did it on the black. And each day, you know, rotates different colors. So let's see if I can, that'll be the four colors in the end. Obviously there's the, so definitely a denim, kind of a purpley, the deeper gray, and then the black. What will happen with these when they're all done? To be determined, I haven't decided yet, but so that was a start and a finish. I wasn't 100% sure I'd get this guy done because I was having such trouble with the black. It was, you know, because, okay, he's a couple colors. He's a white and an ecru. And then obviously his face is some different colors as well. But so you'd think, okay, that wouldn't be a lot of changing of colors. It wouldn't take long. But because the fabric being what it was, it was a little bit harder to stitch. It took me a little longer than I thought. So that's the start and the finish that I have. Then, and the next day I'll work on 9, 10, 11, 12, will be this one. And I'll go back to the gray for that one. Uh, the last one was, I was looking through because I decided I wanted to pick some patterns to kind of show some maybe upcoming plans, things that have caught my eye that I would like to work on. And um, as I was going through, I realized that I have these that I have not finished and I haven't stitched on for a few months and it's never gonna get finished if I don't. So I pulled one out and I'm talking about the Cottage of the Months. This is November from Country Cottage Needleworks. I have three months left. So I need to just buckle down and I pulled out November since we're in November. Well, not quite, but we're getting there. Why not get this one done? And I got a decent amount done. This is 18 count. Now it's vintage country mocha. You'll see the standard vintage country mocha, but it's the backside. I am doing the backside because for the very first month, for some reason I accidentally, I was gonna do it on this side and I had flipped, I had flipped it. And then I thought, oh gosh, once that was done, I was just gonna keep going. You know, I wasn't going to, um, I think that's, it's been a while now since I started these. I think that's the reasoning behind it. I had actually started one of them on something else, stitched a bunch and then I restarted um, and I went with this, with this side. So I think there's one month and it might be June where I accidentally started on the wrong side, but that's my mom's birthday month and I was stitching these or I am stitching them for my mom if I can ever get them done. So that's kind of like a special month separate from all the others. I am using, I know it calls for other things besides DMC, in all of these, I have stitched just the DMC colors and I am perfectly happy with how they look. If you go back, I have a floss tube extra sometime from the summer, and I can't remember how long ago it was now, where I talked about and I showed how I'm finishing on just matte board and using um, sticky tape versus using sticky board. And I use the glue gun a little bit, but not 100%. So if you wanted to see a different way of putting things on the boards, I do have that video kind of, I'm not sure how far back now. It was sometime in the summer that I think I did it. And when I get all of them done and I can do like, show you what I'm using as a full finish, then I will show you those all together. But that's where we are right now. Fun colors, I mean a little bit more pastel-y maybe than you would think with November, like these are leaves, but I, I kind of like it, I kind of do. So as I was doing it, I said, you know what? I think, I think that'll work, and the house is a little bit darker, so I think those will play off nicely with that. So that's just that general start. I'm back to my cottages. I, you know, doing a yearly series is a commitment, I have to say. And good on those of you who get it done every single month. I, I, I was doing good for a while and then I kind of just, it went by the wayside. So I figured now I've just got to buckle down because this, this has been a year and a half long project. I mean, there's no reason it should be that long. So that's where we are with that. And that's the second start I had this week. And that is all the stitching that I have. Now I, because I have zero shopping um, and 
one morning I wasn't feeling like stitching and I wanted to go through patterns, I said, this would be a great day to show you maybe some of my upcoming plans, ideas of patterns I'd like to start with a few cases, some fabrics I think I'm going to use, and um, you know, just some ideas of things coming for the future. Um, understanding that at any given time, something else may catch my eye and I'm gonna jump in. I like, I, like I said, I have my birthday is tomorrow. I have done no birthday shopping yet. So we'll have to see what there are. I have patterns on my wish list. So those could always come into play at any given time. Who knows? But what I know right now from what I have that drew my eye right away was uh, these following ones. Now, I, you know that I recently just finished this prairie schooler right here. I want to continue with these, so I think I'm going to do this one. I love that little cardinal. So that'll be the next one I start, and I will continue doing these on the jade fabric that I have done all the other prairie schooler Santas on. So that's definitely in the pipeline at some point. Just not sure exactly when um, that will get started. But because I already have the fabric and I have the flosses and everything else, that would be an easy start if one day I feel like, you know what, I wanna start, but I don't wanna try to figure out fabrics. Now this one, <coughs> excuse me, has nothing to do with Halloween, fall, autumn, Thanksgiving, Christmas, nothing. I just love it so much that I really, really want to start it. I, what did I get this pattern? Maybe a month or two ago. It's called the Love Boats, Love Boats Sampler from Art Designs. Isn't that beautiful? There's just something about the colors that drew me. So I saw, and I, and I knew I had this fabric, and I thought, oh, wouldn't this be pretty? This is called Lighthearted from Dying for Cross Stitch. So look at this. So that's what it's called for, and that's what this is. And I did buy the DMCs. Let me pull them out for a minute, most of them. Do my best to lay some out on this. But won't they look really, oh, see, see now it's gotten a little darker. Let me try it. In person, this is a lighter pink than what you're seeing. Not a ton, but it is a lighter. But I think these colors are all really gonna look nicely on this. So this is, um, this is a definite, at some point, not waiting for spring or, or whatever. If I wanna start, this is one that I'm, I will definitely uh, think about starting. Okay. Next one is a digital. I don't think I showed you this when I bought it. Let me see if I can tell you who, it's a digital pattern, so I don't have, who's the seller? Vlada, V-L-A-D-A, X-Stitch is the seller. You're gonna know why I bought this, obviously. So they, oh, there's a little bit of a section of white that's not gonna show up here, um, or it's light yellow. They have taken all the states, plus some countries and other things, and they've done a beautiful job of of charting them. And of course, since we will be eventually full-time in Delaware, I thought this one was very, really fun. So I picked this one up. I don't think I will stitch the word Delaware. Um, I think I will just stitch the state. I'll obviously know what state it is. I didn't buy Connecticut, but I might and just have a, where we were, you know, lived for so many years to where we've moved to kind of thing. Um, and originally I was like, okay, I'll stitch this in a white because I don't want, you know, I don't want something competing. But as I was showing you um, Bells of Ireland, that beach glass, which is a really subtle green, might be, oh, there you go, might be just really pretty as the background for this. And it won't be as wide, obviously, because if I don't do the, the word, it'll be a little bit narrower. So I think I might, might consider doing the beach glass for this one. Just a very, very pale green. So that is on my to-do list at some point. I took a trip to Michael's and bought a bunch of flosses so now that I can uh, think about some of them. This next one, I want your opinion. I think I will like it in this. Um, it's very pretty in what it, it's, it, I did pull out some Christmas stuff and little stuff. We Santa 2020, I thought he was adorable. 
I, now, on the called for, it looks fabulous. But you know me, I love my blues. So this is a color in cotton. This is the whimsical that I bought not that long ago. And I'm gonna put him up against, you know, kind of like he's at the North Pole. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Because there's no blues on him. So, and I think the white will show up really nicely against this color. So I think that's what he's gonna be on if I were to be a betting person. And that one, that one looks, there's way more flosses than I thought there would be. <laughs> For such a small, there's like a long line of flosses, but I thought that would be really cute. So there's that one that I'm considering coming up. Oh, let me see, I'll put these in a different spot than my current projects. This one, so what do you think about that blue? Um, this one, I had another blue, but as I'm looking at the flosses for it, I don't think it's gonna work. So I had pulled out Winter House Trio from Waxy Moon Designs. I've not done any of these trios, I believe, although I have several and I was gifted uh, one of them um, very nicely too by a stitchy friend. And the first thing I thought of was, well, the gray is, you know, it's nice, but I wanted something else. But if you look especially, well, this word is in blue and then this house in blue, so I don't think this is gonna work. I pulled out this, King's Blue, because I thought, okay, winter, along those lines, it could very well work nicely with that, but it's not gonna work with these. So I love, love this blue. This was a December 2020 fabric of the month color. But looking at it, I think I might have to switch. Has anybody stitched these and what color did you use for your fabric? I'd love to hear. So that one's coming up potentially. Then I have just a couple more that I pulled out. This is a little bit bigger, although there's not a ton of colors. I was really surprised when I looked at the list. Prairie Schooler, I've always liked this Christmas tree farm. Really, really pretty. And I thought I would use, because there's a lot of open space, I thought I would just use, and it's just a straight white opal. Um, 18 count, uh, you're not gonna see the sparkle today. But there's sparkle there, there you go, maybe a little bit. So that, you know, it would kind of look like the sparkly snow. That's what I'm doing with my, it's Emma Congdon. Citrovia, Citrovia Christmas piece, where there is, there you, you'd be stitching the snow, but I decided I wouldn't stitch it, and I put it on um, this type of fabric so that it would look like sparkly snow. So I think that's what I would do with this, and then just stitch all the other. It would look like the snow is sparkling. So that's on my list. There's, there are quite a few prairie schoolers. I don't own them all. No, I don't own a lot of them yet. But like, I like the months. I like, there's a lot of different prairie schoolers that I like. I just haven't, you know, gotten them yet since I've been back to cross stitch. But this one, this one um, drew my eye and I thought, you know what, that might be fun, kind of fun. And it's not a ton of colors. So it would be kind of a, you know, fun one to do. Then the other couple that I have, I don't have any ideas for fabric yet. This is, an unwrapped address, Santa 12, 2012 from Lizzie Kate. This one might be good in the beach glass as well if I don't want to go with the tan. Because again, it would be really pale green. And so all the, the only thing would be whether or not the white would show up. I'd want to make sure of that. So that's a possibility. I didn't take this one out. I do have the Christmas house trio. Not sure what I would do with those. Maybe, no, because this house is in blue. I was going to say maybe the blue there. But, um, and then the only other one that I pulled out was a real quick, little small quickie Lizzie Kate. It's from the Jingles, actually, Ho 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 Holiday. And I would wanna change that. That actually might be cool. I have not used, you know the Petty Point? Um, is that what they call it? You know, where it's got all the little dots that would look like snow? There is a blue version, right? So wouldn't that be cute maybe on that? And then I wouldn't bother stitching the snowflakes. That's a possibility. I don't own any of that, but I think I've seen it at one, two, three stitch. 
an 18 count, I think. So maybe that's something that I would look at. So those are some of the things that are in the pipeline. Like I said, I have a healthy wish list. <laughs> I just haven't bought anything lately. Um, and uh, I think there might be some things coming at some point. So that could very well change all of these. This is definitely the one though. If I don't do gray, I just don't know. I'm disappointed because that blue is pretty, but I don't think that's gonna work very well. So any thoughts or ideas, or if you've done any of these in different colors, let me know. I'd love to see um, what you've done. So those are some upcoming plans. Obviously, what I will continue from last week's um, set of stitches, who knows? But um, we'll see. It'll be a surprise for all of us. All right, giveaways. Last stitching part. This week with the giveaways, I had grabbed, let me do it up against here. I'll do it here so you can see. I had grabbed three different thread work, variegated. Well, this middle one's not so variegated, but I'm, I guess it's, it says over dyed floss. But that one, you're gonna, it's gonna be more of a solid -y, but these two are clearly variegated. Um, let me fold this this way so the pattern doesn't show up on it. So that's this week's giveaway was these three. And let's go through and see. All of you who said the word blue, who am I sending this to? Mix it all around. There was quite a few of you, so there was a lot of names. Let me separate. I'm getting down to my name here somewhere or other. Oop. Okay, here we go. And Mary Beth Ringland. So Mary Beth, congratulations. Put you up against my bowl, name of the bowl. If you could please reach out to me and give me your address, I will send those on to you. There we go. Okay, this week I have a small, a small little guy, small little little guy. I have to, I was going through uh, what I have for giveaways. I had to go through and see what I have. Um, I've got some birthday money coming, so I think obviously I'll buy a few things for myself, but obviously some for you as well, because I like to, I would like to share. Um, so when I start doing some birthday spending, I will be thinking about you all as well. This one though, it's just a little, and it's from the Littles um, line of Bent Creek. What's it called? Tiny Tim Turkey, and he is tiny. There he is. This is being shown on a 32 count, so 32, 16, and he's one and a half by one and a half. And look at in the series, it's cute too. Look at that little cat. But I thought he'd be cute. We've got Thanksgiving coming up amazingly fast here in the US. Obviously, my Canadian friends, you've had your Thanksgiving already. Um, but here in the US, obviously, we've got this coming up. So I said, you know what, this would be a quick one. And what would be interesting, think about like things like this small. And you say, okay, well, what could I do with it? Obviously, you could, you know, you can put it in a small frame like this is. If you had some sort of holiday-ish tree, like from different holidays, you could hang it from that. I was thinking if you wanted to send some cards, you could uh, stitch some of these up really quickly um, and put them on cards. If, uh, if you want to do place, uh, like place cards for your Thanksgiving dinner, especially maybe like with kids, because it'd be fun. They, they'd think it'd be a lot of fun to have something. Um, you could do something like that with that and do it that way. Uh, if you like to journal or scrapbook and you wanted to talk about your Thanksgiving, this could be part of that page as well. Um, and I'm sure there's lots of other things. So thinking about what you want to do, and if you have other ideas for really small uh, pieces, tags, um, there's lots of things you could do. So it'd be a lot of fun. So this week's giveaway will be this pattern from Bent Creek. And the word that you'll need to put in your comment somewhere is the word turkey. And I will pull all those out in the next video and pull a winner and ship, the, ship that off to you. So that's the giveaway this week. Okay, that is it for the stitching stuff. So uh, if you don't wanna hear anything life related, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the stitching and I'll talk to you next time. Uh, so what do we got? We got we got my big weekend, right? That's my big life thing at this point. Um, tomorrow is my birthday, so we will most likely um, 
Oh, let me see here. I'm getting up. Scam likely call. Let's see if I hit that. There we go. That should. Okay. I'm sorry if there was any background noise for that. I don't know how to fix that. I did do not disturb. I'm not sure why it didn't show up on my, um, why that came up after all. Those scam, those scam calls come anyway, don't they? Um, so anyway, tomorrow is my actual birthday. Tomorrow Megan has a game, so we will be driving up to Pens uh, Pennsylvania. And I was thinking I said Philadelphia, but it's outside of Philadelphia, Bryn Mawr. Uh, and go to the game. Um, so today Mo took a half day off from work. He said, let's go out to lunch. So he's gonna treat me to some lunch and then down by the beach and we'll walk around. You know, they have all this, the different shops and so on and so forth. Um, so there's a few that I've been really wanting to go into, but we generally bring the dog with us when we go to the beach. So I thought then this time I wanted to, um, you know, just go without the dog and get a chance to shop. So that's, I think that's what we're gonna do this afternoon. Um, the weather is really nice, so it should be a nice day. And then, you know, tomorrow head out. And now that um, we're getting to the point where things will be fixed and eventually painted, there are some more things housewise that I would like to look at. So maybe um, do a little bit of shopping with that as well. And either either furniture, obviously it's slow going with the furniture because we're buying bit by bit. And if, you know, those of you who are trying to buy furniture right now, it, it's like, what, eight to 10, 12 months in some cases. You think, okay, eight to 12 weeks, that, no, months, months. So. If something, if a store does not have something in the showroom or in their warehouse, it's taking a while. So we are kind of thinking about that um, as well. You know, if there's anything furniture wise that we were looking at. So that plus just decorative, because we have like a couch right here. and I, I want to put some pillows on it and things like that. And once the walls are done with the nail pops, I didn't want to put anything on the walls until I could inspect it all uh, after the year. So we are almost up on that. So now I can start thinking about things that I'd want to put up on the wall too. So that's just a lot of fun shopping as well. Uh, I'm continuing to feel better. So thank you so much again for all of your well wishes and um, doing the stuff I need to do to, to feel good and um, just Let's hope it's just by me at this point and now we can enjoy the last couple months of the year and then go into 2022 and have a really good year for all of us. That's what I'm really hoping for. Um, so, you know, we will see on that. And then, yeah, that's, that's you know, pretty much what's going on when it comes to all of that. Um, maybe just some house, you know, house stuff, maybe just some wandering and, and looking and just browsing and shopping and fun, fun things like that. And, um, little low key celebration for, uh, for another year. <laughs> That's it. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you're safe. I hope you're all just doing, doing okay. Um, I know, um, some of the other, some of other of you are, having tough 2020 21s and we're getting there and we're just keep plugging away and I wish you all the best and I am thinking about you and I just really hope that we can all just turn it around and um, enjoy, you know, enjoy for a while. So I hope you've gotten a lot of stitching done maybe when you've watched this and I always love to hear about what you're doing so feel free to reach out. Uh, I do have a new floss tuber that uh, or new to me that reached out. So I want to watch her floss tube and then I can't wait to tell you all about her. And um, I'm behind, I'm behind on floss tube. So realizing that, that uh, I kind of once, you know, once September was kind of a lost month and part of October and I just kind of wasn't in that frame. So I'm, I'm trying to go back in some cases, I may not go back and watch your old videos. I may just start fresh uh, with whatever week we've or video we've stepped up on. So I apologize if I skip some, but um, I'm getting back to it. I am getting back to it. Hopefully, I will continue to do so, so I'll be able to see what's going on in your worlds too. And I continue, obviously. I may not post on Instagram, but I do like to scroll and see what everybody's doing. So that's always a fun avenue too that I can follow. And you can see below my Instagram account Again, I'm woeful at it. I'm not great at posting, but hey, I'd love to see what you're doing. All right, 
that's it. Enough rambling. Um, I hope you have a fantastic weekend, whatever you happen to be doing this weekend. And until next time, happy stitching.